Hi guys, this is Iman. In this video, I want to investigate some retry scenario in Poly. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to watch more videos about software engineering. First of all, it's very good to know when do we use retry. We use retry when we predict some transient fault in our services that can be corrected after a short period. How does retry work? Consider your application has to call an external service that is reasonably reliable. However, it throws an exception randomly, but it might respond correctly after a few seconds. It's good to use retry in this situation. It can reduce the side effects of third-party services on our application and make it more resilient. In this video, I want to implement retry scenario in .NET 8. I will use poly version 8 and bogus to generate an exception randomly. Okay, talk is enough. I want to show you my code. I've just created a .NET 8 web API and I've installed poly and bogus from NuGet package manager. First, I want to show you a simple random exception generator function. After installing bogus, you can instantiate it with faker class. It generates random strings, numbers, and so on. Also, you can develop random meaningful words like city and country names. I will share its GitHub repository URL in the description. Let's go on. After instantiating faker, we can generate integers between two numbers. Our default extension method gives three parameters. The first is the new instance of faker. The second one is the probability of default value occurrence that is a float number between 0 and 1. And the last is a default value. Here our random number is an integer between 0 and 3 that has 60% chance to be zero. The random number exception generator method throws an exception when the random number equals zero. Here, I added some console, console.write line to like some information in our application console. Okay, here I have some action uh, in retry controller. I wanna investigate different strategies. The first one is default, the second one is no delay, and the last one is complex strategy. Okay, let's start with default strategy. In default strategy, we use retry strategy options with default values. We have some property that is very important in retry strategy options. Max retry attempts determine the maximum retry attempts by poly. The default value of delay is two seconds. It means that poly wait two seconds between two attempts. The default value of use jitter is false. When you use true value for use jitter, poly add or subtract a random number to your delay. For example, your delay is two seconds. When you use use jitter, your delay value may be uh, varying between one to three seconds. At the next line, uh, I instantiate my sample method provider that I explained it before. After that, you have to use Resilience Pipeline Builder to instantiate your poly pipeline. It is very, very simple scenario. As you can see, you have to pass your options into add retry method. After that, you have to call build to create your pipeline. Okay, let's start uh, with default strategy. I press try it out. Our action returned 200 status code. This means our action executed successfully. Okay, let's see the console of our application. The console, the first attempt execute immediately and the random number is zero. According to our 
random exception generator it throw exception so poly retries after two seconds you can see uh, it approximately after two two thousand of milliseconds but at the first attempt the random number is zero so or uh, so or random exception generator method throw an exception at the second attempt of poly after two seconds the random number is two so our method didn't throw any exception okay i want to increase the probability of throwing exception in our random exception generator method you can do that with set the default weight near to one it means the probability of throwing an exception is 99%. Here's one question it may be raised on your conscious. What happened after three attempts? Let's go to see that. Okay, you can see. The first execution that is not an attempt the first attempt second attempt and third attempt after third attempt according to max retry attempts option your method throw an exception it can help you to throw in an exception and log its exception after a couple of attempts okay let's investigate another strategy another strategy is no delay strategy in this strategy we set delay to zero it means poly retry executing the method immediately after throwing an exception okay let's try no delay strategy after execution you can see our action throw an exception immediately let's see our application console you can see our retry attempts occur without any delay it's really near to uh, zero but it cannot be zero because we have some overhead for calling function in our application so after no delay and default strategy i want to show you the complex strategy in our complex strategy we have some scenario one of the important things to consider is back of type back of type can be constant linear and exponential let me back to my slide to show you the difference between back of types delay goes to uh, y-axis and attempt number goes to x in this scenario we have a thousand milliseconds delay in constant back of type our delay has a constant value and it is independent to uh, attempt number you can see constant that has same value on each attempt the linear type has this equation it's a linear function with a solvent coefficient so you can see our delay is a solvent in first attempt two thousand in second attempt and three thousand in third attempt the last one is exponential that it follow this function so you can see the exponential method in the chart one of the important uh, property that can change or delay time is use jitter as i said before when use jitter is true it can add or subtract a random number to your delay on each attempt you can see in the chart uh, our delay value on each attempt has a deviation max delay saturate your delay time consider you have to rest restrict your delay uh, with some value for example in constant uh, we have jitter but i want to restrict my 
delay to a thousand and one hundred in linear back of type i want to restrict my delay into four and a half seconds and in exponential back of type i want to saturate my delay with fifteen thousand of millisecond let's see our chart you can see the saturation on this chart for linear and exponential let's change uh, delay value to one second and max retry, retry attempt to five uh, i want to keep a uh, use jitter value to false and back of type is linear it's very good okay let's re-execute my project okay after executing we can see retry attempts in our console so the difference between first attempt and the first execution is about a thousand the difference between second attempts and first attempts it's about 2000 of milliseconds and the difference between third one to second one is about three four and five it means our back of type is linear let's change uh, back of type to exponential and use jitter and also add max delay and set it to from second i think 10 and that can show you the saturation that i investigated before okay let's execute complex strategy action again okay the third atom fourth so you can see the difference between uh, 34 and 24 is about 10 seconds it means our max delay uh, considered in this step the last things that I uh, want to consider it should handle should handle determine uh, the type of exception that uh, or retry should uh, handle it so uh, for test that property I have to do some change on my um, random exception generator this exception type include all exception in our application but, so i want to remove uh, remove it uh, or uh, or random throw exception method uh, through exception but uh, our retry strategy just handle timeout exception let's execute the code and see what happened okay you can see our applications through an exception because our retry handler cannot handle an exception except timeout exception let's change uh, our random throw exception and change this exception to into timeout exception so now our application should handle exception and retry it again okay you see our application handle this type of exception okay all the cases cannot be reviewed in the uh, in one video I wanted to introduce to retry in poly you can find the link to the sections document in the description of this video also I shared the code of this part with you on my github you can find it on eduvia repository on poly example API please like my video and subscribe my channel if my content is helpful okay my name is iman from eduvia goodbye